Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be going over um, a couple things. Uh, we're gonna be updating the FPV journey. Um, so a lot has happened since the last time I made the last video. Um, we ended up upgrading to a five inch drone. So now we got a, a Aroma F5. And man, that drone has been such an amazing drone. It performs so good, like it's so fast, it's so nimble. Um, it was definitely a lot better than the Cine Whoop that I've been currently using. Um, prior to that, I had bought a five inch from a friend of mine. It was a used five inch. I got to fly that uh, for a bit, learned a lot on it. And uh, I ended up selling it to, to one of my really good friends. And now he's gonna be using that. And I ended up upgrading to the, the Roma when I sold it to him. But yeah, man, we just came back from California and we got some amazing FPV shots in California. I feel like I've gotten so much more comfortable with it and I feel like it just performs so well. I'm so happy with it. But yeah, so today we're just gonna be here in the park. So I recently installed Crossfire into it and with the Crossfire, I'm able to, you know, uh, supposedly go really far range. I did have some issues exactly at the same park. Uh, where it fell safe and it fell safe not even that far away from me so i've been doing a little bit of troubleshooting with that and seeing how that performs but yeah i'm let's let's see how it flies and then we'll go back to the studio and we'll we'll talk more about you know well everything like updating more stuff all right let's go So here it is. Uh, this is the Dytone Roma F5. And man, I freaking love this drone. Uh, it's such an amazing drone. It flies so nice. Um, obviously it has some upgrades on it. I ended up, uh, for example, upgrading the VTX. And VTX is the video transmitting system. That's the system that you use to, to output the video signal to your goggles. And the one that's on the Roma F5 is decent. But honestly, it's it's not amazing. And I did on the other quad install the, the Rush Tank Ultimate 2, which was an amazing uh, VTX. And then when I switched to the Roma and it had a less powerful, I think it was a 400 milliwatt uh, VTX, it just didn't perform as nice as the other one. So I ended up just, in, one of the first things that I did was upgrade it to this one. It is a 800 milliwatt VTX and man you can output a lot of power from it and honestly it's been really 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 good and the reason i upgraded it was because like i said I and one of the things that i really wanted to do was uh dive down a mountain which has been one of the things that i really really wanted to do and um it was a long busy trip so we were doing a lot of different things and then when i finally was able to go to the mountain uh i, I immediately you know just did it but it was it was during um golden hour and golden hour was almost over so it was kind of dark so i didn't really get the footage that i really wanted but i'm very happy with the experience that i got from doing it and honestly i feel a lot more comfortable with it and it performed so well the only time that i lost power as you're watching the video was when i went over the the dam there was like a huge dam and i was flying from the bottom of the dam going up and as on my way up i i lost signal a lot of like staticky on the on the, on the on the video aspect of it but uh, it immediately came back and it looked clear and like it wasn't so bad that i couldn't like navigate it so yeah that ended up happening during that part but honestly it's it's performing so well the other upgrade that i did was the uh the crossfire 
I ended up installing Crossfire onto this quad. And my, my experience with Crossfire has been interesting to say the least it's been it's been really good but it's also been a little weird because if you guys know anything about crossfire and you guys can give me some good tips down below i would appreciate it but oh excuse me but um i had a couple fail safes with crossfire and the reason i upgraded to crossfire was because i was told that you could you barely get crossfire uh, i mean fail saves with crossfire so um i was flying in this park actually and I was literally flying near the water over there. There's like a little kid's water park and there's like a lake. I was literally flying from that tree right there, to that tree right there. And I flew maybe, I don't know, like 300 feet. And somehow I lost connection and a drone just fell. You'll see in the video. And that sucked because it broke, it shattered my, my, I'll put pictures of it. The front camera on the FPV shattered the Phoenix um, camera broke, the camera side mount broke, one of the motors was starting to act up, and that was literally the trip right before I had to go to California. It was the same day actually. So I had to run to Ray Day squads, Ray Day quads, and pick up some of the parts, and then literally, uh, like an hour before having to go to the airport, I quickly installed it, I put it in, <laughs> and I left. And uh, luckily it worked fine. I had to do a couple adjustments when I got to California, but luckily the drone was fine. The motor kind of worked out to be better. But yeah, Crossfire has been, I don't know. I don't know if it's something that I did wrong. I've been, I just updated the firmware. I just did a couple things. That's why I'm at the park and we're gonna test them out. But yeah, I, I had that little issue with Crossfire. Um, I don't know if it was cause it wasn't a dynamic power. There's a couple little things that I just don't know if it was causing it but we're gonna we're gonna test it out but when i went down the mountain i had zero issues i had a great connection i went down the mountain literally all the way down not a problem but not sure i really don't know what cost it but yeah so that was one of the upgrades that i did and honestly i'm very happy i feel like the five inch is definitely the way to go it's definitely a lot faster and i'm it's 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 harder to fly but you just it just doesn't compare like it's just so fast it feels so smooth like you're able to do more tricks it's 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 great like i love it i'm happy with the purchase that i made and hopefully with the tweaks that i did to the crossfire it does better another thing that happened and this one hurts when it did the fail safe the gopro broke like it literally shattered the whole screen so i can't see anything out of the back of the screen it still works fine i can still record I use the front screen and it tells me, you know, if it's recording, how much better life it has. So thankfully that still kind of works. Um, one of the things that I'm considering actually is using it as a naked GoPro, like taking it apart and mounting it on a mount to make it a naked GoPro, which makes it a lot lighter. But I heard it could be finicky and it is a nice GoPro. So I don't know if I should just repair the back screen and then just um, fix it and then just keep using it as it is. Um, but we'll see. But yeah, let, we're gonna fly, we're gonna get a couple test flights, and then um, we'll, we'll we'll keep talking. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so far the journey with FPV has been so awesome. I've gotten some amazing shots. I've gotten a couple gigs coming up that um, for FPV, we're gonna have like a uh, go-kart area that we're gonna be using, chasing a couple go-karts. And uh, we're gonna be chasing a car soon. And then we're gonna have a, a travel video that we're gonna end up doing in, in the summer. To uh, Costa Rica, and I'm definitely, definitely gonna be preparing for that. So I need to get my skills up. I need to get my performance up on the quad, and yeah, that's gonna be so much fun. But yeah, let's go ahead and fly, and then let's see, let's see, let's go. Mm -hmm. 